Crazy news from Stemson Therapeutics. I mean, this is definitely going to change everything about hair loss in the near future. They have come up with a way to replace hair follicles. So forget everything about regenerating, restoring, or even preventing hair loss. Stemson has actually managed to replace hair follicles in their study. Stemson Therapeutics, co-founded by Dr. Turkey and Dr. Hamilton, is at the forefront of developing unlimited donor hairs through advanced cell technology. They are currently exploring the creation of hair-inducing dermal papilla cells using induced pluripotent stem cells, what's also called IPSCS. This groundbreaking method was actually first developed in Japan in 2006. It is not just a potential hair loss cure, it is definitely a leap in regenerative medicine, which applications way far beyond this. So what is this new crazy method to create unlimited hair follicles for you and me? Sit tight and I'll explain the method and the science behind this for you guys. It revolves around reprogramming adult somatic cells into iPSC using key transcription factors, enabling these cells to actually mimic embryonic stem cell pluripotency. The key of their technique is the differentiation of these IPSC into dermal papillary cells integral to hair follicle development and growth regulation. To address the key challenge in hair transplantation, which is the limited availability of donor follicles, Stimson's strategy involves a bioengineered 3D scaffold system that not only provides structural support, but actually also replicates the natural microenvironment necessary for hair follicles formation. This scaffold, seeded with iPSC-derived dermal papillary cells, has demonstrated its efficiency in promoting functional hair follicle development when integrated into skin modules. This has been evidenced by successful engraftment and new hair follicle generation in immune compromised mice with human skin grafts. I mean, seriously, look at that. That is the resource we are looking after. After demonstrating the efficiency of iPSC derived dermal papillary cells in creating functional hair follicles in these immune compromised mice, the next step, which is super critical, is to evaluate the approach and safety and the effectiveness in human subjects. This phase is vital for translating lab-based success into viable clinical treatments for androgenic alopecia. Human trials will assess not only the ability of these engineered hair follicles to integrate into human skin and produce hair, but also monitor for any adverse effects, ensuring the treatment's safety profile, of course. These treatments are definitely pivotal in understanding the long-term implications of using iPSC technology in humans, including aspects like the durability of the newly formed hair, the maintenance of the hair texture and color, of course, and the overall cosmetic acceptability. The outcome of these trials will, of course, be instrumental in determining the feasibility of this method as a standard treatment for hair loss, potentially revolutionizing the field of hair regeneration and just generation, and more broadly, the application of stem cell therapies in generative medicine. With these advancements, stem cell is gearing up for human clinical trials. CEO Jeff Hamilton is actually very optimistic about these trials, but unfortunately, the timeline remains uncertain. Stemson's therapeutic progress in the field of regenerative medicine is then further bolstered by a massively strategic partnership. The alliance is with Adarin, which is a massive player in hair products and service. And this partnership is evolving an exclusive hair regeneration licensing deal and is a significant step for Stemson, in my opinion. Basically, it grants them the global right to research, development, and commercialize hair regenerative therapeutic products based on Adderant's proprietary cell therapy technology. So that means that this collaboration is going to enable Stemson to actually integrate 
Adherence Phase 2 Cell Therapy Hair Regeneration Program into their own development pipeline, which is then going to further argument their own technology and the capability and potentially accelerate the timeline even faster for effective human trials. Furthermore, these partnerships, of course, underscore the industry's recognition of Stimson's technology. I mean, if another massive company is interested in an exclusive licensing deal, it must mean that Stimson is onto something and the hair loss industry knows it for sure. I seriously can't wait to see what's going to happen in the future for Stimson. And while we wait for the update on the future of hair loss treatments, I suggest that you go and watch this video on treatments that are actually out there right now.